Chevrolet Equinox EV winter range tested in freezing temps, and it didn't go well. Hey there, and welcome back to EVpedia, your go-to place for all things electric vehicles. Before we dive into today's eye-opening winter range test, let's make sure you're all set. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on the latest EV news, reviews, and real-world tests. Give this video a big thumbs up, and if you have any thoughts or experiences with EVs in the cold, drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And hey, if you find this content helpful and want to support us even more, don't forget to tap that super thanks button. Now, stick around until the very end, because today's test reveals some shocking results you won't want to miss. Let's jump in. Imagine stepping outside on a frigid winter night, the kind where your breath turns to ice and even your thickest gloves can't seem to keep out the cold. That's exactly what Joe Franz, the owner of a 2025 Chevrolet Equinox EV LTAWD and creator of the YouTube channel EV Motoring, did when he decided to put his electric crossover through the ultimate winter test. The goal, to see just how far he could drive on a full charge in brutally cold, minus 6 degrees Fahrenheit minus 21 degrees Celsius temperatures while cruising at a steady 75 miles per hour on the highway. Now on paper, the Chevrolet Equinox EV comes with an EPA-estimated range of 307 miles, thanks to its 85-kilowatt-hour usable battery pack and dual-motor all-wheel drive system. But as anyone familiar with EVs knows, real-world conditions, especially extreme weather, can significantly impact battery performance. So, how did this electric crossover hold up when faced with freezing temperatures and high-speed highway driving? Let's break it down. As Joe started his journey with a fully charged battery, the dashboard displayed a promising 306 miles of estimated range. However, as soon as he hit the highway and locked in the cruise control at 75 miles per hour, things took a turn for the worse quickly. After covering just 69 miles, Joe glanced at the battery percentage and saw it had already dropped to 52%, with an efficiency rating of 1.5 miles per kilowatt hour. That's a steep decline, considering that under ideal conditions, the efficiency rating would be much higher. Undeterred, he pressed on, but at the 112-mile mark, the battery level had plunged even further, now sitting at 26%. Interestingly, the efficiency had improved slightly to 1.6 miles per kilowatt hour, but it was still much lower than what you'd expect in moderate weather. Then came the moment every EV driver dreads. As the battery level dipped below 12%, the car's onboard system flashed a warning message, notifying Joe that acceleration was being limited due to the low battery level. This is a common safety feature in many electric vehicles, designed to conserve energy and prevent sudden power loss. However, it was also a clear indicator that the test would need to end soon. At exactly 10% state of charge, Joe wrapped up the experiment, and the number spoke volumes. He had used 90% of the battery's capacity to cover just 150 miles, with an average energy efficiency of 1.7 miles per kilowatt hour. The vehicle's remaining range estimate was just 19 miles, confirming that at this temperature and speed, the Equinox EV's real-world range was significantly lower than the advertised 307 miles. Now, let's do a little math to put things into perspective. If we take the 1.7 miles per kilowatt-hour efficiency rating and multiply it by the 85 kilowatt-hours usable battery capacity, we get a theoretical maximum range of 144.5 miles under these specific conditions. That's less than half of the official EPA estimate a stark reminder of how much cold weather and highway speeds can affect EV performance. Of course, this isn't just a Chevrolet Equinox EV problem. All electric vehicles experience range loss in freezing conditions, as the battery works harder to maintain efficiency and power essential heating systems. Additionally, higher speeds, especially above 70 miles per hour, tend to drain an EV battery much faster than city driving. In fact, when Tom Malufny tested the two-wheel drive 2024 Equinox EV, in warm weather at a slightly slower 70 miles per hour, he found that it actually exceeded its EPA rating, managing an impressive 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. This highlights just how much driving conditions and temperature can impact an EV's real-world performance. So, what's the takeaway here? If you're planning a winter road trip in an electric vehicle, proper planning is key. Make sure to check your route ahead of time using apps like PlugShare to locate charging stations, because let's be real, the last thing you want is to be stranded in freezing temperatures with a dead battery and no charger in sight. And remember, not all charging stations are guaranteed to be working, so always have a backup plan. Before you go, we just want to say a huge thank you for watching all the way till the end. Your support means the world to us, 
And if you enjoyed today's deep dive into real-world EV performance, make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our latest videos. Got thoughts on this test? Drop them in the comments section. We love hearing from you. And of course, if you'd like to go the extra mile and support the channel, the super thanks button is always there to show some love. Stay warm, keep those batteries charged, and we'll see you in the next video.